Hey, um, so, you want to hear my testimony? It's kind of a crazy one. Um, so, uh, you might say, <clears throat> yes, my voice is still messed up, just to let you know. Um, you might say that, uh, I was one of those really lost sheep of his. I was into things you would not believe um, by looking at me now. I was down to 90 pounds um, doing meth, doing crack, heroin, basically anything I could find very promiscuous, um, just didn't care anymore. I was, um, alone. I, my parents had passed away. The only one I was truly close to was my sister, and her and I had had a falling out. Well, I went out on the road with somebody I had met, working carnivals and stuff. Out there, I started experiencing severe pain in my lower area, and uh, thus is where the heroin came into play. I started doing it because not only did it help escape, <coughs> reality and where I was in my life and all that but it also took away the pain I was feeling in my body and so I started doing it and it became something that was extremely get difficult to stop and I try to stop, I would end up so sick and in so much pain that it just, I went right back to it. Um, <clears throat> I ended up going to the hospital because I went to the bathroom one day and I was bleeding pretty bad and found out I had cancer stage 4A. My sister drove all the way from Oklahoma to Colorado where I was to get me. My encounter with God, Jesus, who to me are one and the same, but it happened that day when she walked into the room, into the hospital room. I had been at a point in my life where I was denying that God even existed, and I was begging him to die if he did, and I was saying, if you're there, you'll show me you're there because you'll let me not wake up. You'll kill, you'll let me die, you know, and uh, denying him and testing him, and well, he answered in a way uh, that is so, and it was so ex unexpected, but he sent my sister to help me through, and she came, and we now have a great relationship again. She nursed me back to health, and uh, made sure that I didn't give up, although I wanted to so many times. Went through chemo, radiation, all of that. And the funny thing is that even though I was so badly into my lifestyle at the time, although I remember it, I just, it's as if it, belonged, it was somebody else that was going through it, not me. Um, I'm not that person. I don't know who that person was, but 
I feel that it wasn't me. It was me, but it wasn't me. And I feel that that day when she walked into that hospital room, <clears throat> our father, he took me by the hand and he said, child, you're mine. And it's gonna be okay. So now I have been sober and clean for almost four years. Actually, almost five years. And cancer free for almost four years. The radiation and chemo didn't work, but surgery did. So, so far, everything has turned so completely around. As, you know, as it says in the Bible, in Isaiah, thou shalt then call, and the Lord will answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, here I am. Um, that's Isaiah 58, 9 through 11. Um, he's always there. All you gotta do is reach out. Let's see, it's too old.